Well, in a blitzkrieg campaign last year, liberals across America got plastic straws banned in many cities and restricted in entire states. Life got a little bit worse for normal people, but not bad enough. So now liberals in California have a new target. No, it's not actually something there's too much of, like heroin or human feces on the sidewalk. Those are everywhere, but that's totally cool, human expression. Instead, they're going after hotel shampoo bottles, a problem you didn't know existed. A group of lawmakers in this state want to ban those completely. Anyone who breaks the law can be fined 500 bucks for every offense. Tammy Bruce is, we're not sure if she's an offender of this would-be law, but she is a radio show host and president of the Independent Women's Voice, and she joins us tonight. Do you feel safer now? I feel weirdly safer that you're the one in California and I'm out here in New York. So I'm, I'm going to leave that to you. <laughs> this is weird. Uh, look, uh, this is a proposed bill. Uh, it's, it's, it's stupid. Um, you've got people, of course, they're saying it's because of the plastic in the ocean, but here's the truth of the matter. Uh, a headline in, in uh, um, uh, Forbes uh, last year, five Asian countries dump more plastic into oceans than everybody else combined. China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. Uh, the United States is not the problem. Californians, strangely enough, are not the problem. And yet, they ban the straws, they're banning the plastic bags, and now it's the little tiny shampoo bottles that you can't have them in hotels or in any kind of rental or in the resorts because we're going to save the oceans. The problem with this, of course, is that people think they're doing something to help the problem, and they're not. But as you've mentioned, in California, you can uh, relieve yourself on the street. Uh, you can smoke marijuana uh, to your heart's content, but God help you, should you have one of those Lilliputian bottles of Listerine? That now is the problem. So take a good whiff of California air, uh, uh, Tucker, because with the poo on the street and with nobody being able to shampoo, it's going to start smelling pretty bad in the Golden State. This is an assault. There's a reason they call it the Golden State, sadly. But this is an assault on cleanliness. You're totally right. And I, of course, didn't connect the dots because I'm in California and a little high, to be honest. But well, that, you know, that's what it is. A it's an it's yeah. assault on cleanliness. Well, look, it, the, the tiny bottles suggest also, look, there's droughts all the time. When you get into that shower in the hotel, the tiny bottle says to you, make it quick. You got enough for maybe like a quarter's worth of shampoo, and there's, <laughs> no, don't linger, true. don't linger in there. This is a brief visit. They're saying you should put in dispensers, like in a spa. Well, then you're going to spend an hour in the shower using all the water, and then of course that will be a crime. So I'm waiting for the, the guy law of unintended consequences. Well, that's, that's totally it. Everything right. they touch ends up being making things worse, and in this case, uh, that will uh, be the issue as well. Trust me. And I, I'm going to yeah. go buy a hundred of the little bottles when I leave here, and that's all I'm going to use in my own I agree. bathroom, along with Just some incandescent light bulbs. That's right. Get out of my shower. Tammy Bruce, great to see you tonight. Thank you for that. Thank you, dear. See you later.